So everyone's been asking where Moses is. Oh, that's nice. What's up, man? Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm back. I know, I miss you guys, you know? Moses is back. And uh, so isn't this 83 490. Punch transmission, entire motor's brand new. Got about half an hour on it, just broken in. Best running 490 I've ever been on. Motor's brand new. Everything's brand new on this bike. Just broken in, ready to race. Get a video of the rear fender, the way they wobble. In 1990, I had a YZ490, first time I ever went to a hair scramble race, and uh, signed up for the B class, but I was an expert pro motocross rider. Like, oh, you're a sandbagger. I said, well, I never raced in the woods. Oh, you got to sign up for the expert class. So I went back, signed up for the expert class, and on this same motor right here, I won the, the uh, New England Trail Races Association AMA uh, hair scramble at the Greylock 
mountain to our hair scrim on this exact machine right here. So these are can be a pretty good woods weapon if uh, you know how to harness the power of the big bore. You just you don't have to rev it out, just torque it along. It's got power everywhere. This one here is about as, as good as one as I've ever ridden. It's basically, like I said, like a brand new motorcycle, completely restored. How'd it sound? Brilliant. Sounds perfect. Jetted perfectly, isn't it? I'm gonna do any more. I'm gonna go up and go up hill ride or anything or no? Just take a bow and walk off stage. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> we can ship it anywhere in the states inexpensively. Right now, it's gonna go back down to detail to get a well, a pre-wash before it's uh, put back on display in the museum, and it's gonna wait until it uh, sees its new owner. I'm not. I'm not sure if we pointed out in the video. It's got brand new handlebars, brand new levers, brand new controls, brand new NOS kill switch, brand new uh, throttle assembly, throttle tube, grips. Everything's new on this bike, and basically from the frame up. Uh, private owner rebuilt it, totally obsessed. Uh, guy who makes good money, and money was no object. And uh, he made the ultimate YZ490. Look at the forks, the rims, the brand new spokes, brand new engine cases. It doesn't get any better than this, folks. Buy it now before it's gone forever. And like I said, you got a free ticket to the 500 shootout this year. And if you don't win, well, you probably screwed up. Or you got your ass kicked by Mir Jr. <laughs> or one of the other local pro riders. But come on up and have some fun with us. It's all good fun. Stay tuned, God bless America. Start that thing up, send it. TDC. What's up, boys? If you enjoyed watching that as much as I did riding it, oh my God, this is absolutely the nicest big bore Yamaha two-stroke we've ever had in the museum. We have several in the museum. This one is the trump card right here. After that ride, I need a cigarette. Actually, I need a cigar. Starting with the exhaust on this bike, which is truly OEM perfection, right back to the polished aluminum baffle. Everywhere you look on this bike is nothing but perfection. This bike, uh, it's been on a couple of our videos already. The, it was on the 500 video last week, and it was also when I purchased it from the engineer uh, that built it. There's a good interview on there too if you wanna watch both of those, but I guess we'll start at the frame. The guy that built this bike was a machinist and uh, an elder, he was in his 60s, and had been working on bikes his whole life. He bought this bike, and the frame had some dings in the bottom of the rail, so he went out and bought a, a replacement frame that was in mint condition. The frame, the frame is, this is as nice as I've ever seen on a vintage uh, two-stroke. It's basically, it's been sandblasted, primed, and pa professionally painted. Uh, not powder coated, it's professionally painted like it would be from the factory new. The swing arm is in pristine condition. The uh, front forks are like brand new. They were completely rebuilt. The entire bike was disassembled right down to the last nut and bolt. This is a true nut and bolt restoration. It has new spokes. Brand new tire, brand new tube, brand new rim locks, new brake pads, uh, new Yamaha front fender and number plate, new handlebars, new grips. This is a complete restoration uh, to OEM spec, and it is absolutely stunning. He had, he had um, two or three different seats before he ended up with this perfect seat here with the perfect cover on it, beautiful rear fender, brand new side panels. Uh, I've, I've, Obviously a brand new uh, gold chain, we just put that on because we thought it would play real nicely with the gold rims and it did. Uh, the original, uh, the sprocket that he had on there, all brand new hardware, look at all, all the new hardware on the mounting bolts, uh, new chain guide, the rims are in mint condition, brand new spokes on the rear, the hub was com new bearings in the, um, in the rear wheel, new brake pads, new swing arm bushings, new swing arm bearings, uh, uh, rebuilt rear shock, uh, brand new, air filter, the air box is in mint shape, and then the engine. I got a, this guy wanted it pure perfection, uh, the guy who built the motor, so he bought a brand new engine case. It's, this is an NOS Yamaha engine case. As you can see, the replacement engine cases don't have a VIN number on them. So it's got a brand new engine case. Uh, the crank w was balanced and rebuilt. Uh, it's got a brand new kicker on it. Listen to this, it just, Perfection, brand new Petcock. It has the Yamaha energy induction system. It's got a new NOS tank on it. Um, the 
cylinder was bored with a new piston and rings. The wizard, when we got it in here, he took it to the next level. He jetted it, so it ran a little bit cleaner. It was running a little bit too rich. He put the new chain on it, put the new tires on it, and adjusted and tuned everything to perfection, race tune. So, folks, this is the nicest YZ490 for sale in the world today that I know of. Um, the uh, bike from top to bottom, it's got all brand new hardware on it. Uh, new springs, new bolts, uh, the pegs are brand new. It's just absolutely stunning. Junior, is there anything you'd like to add about this classic big bore two-stroke? Guys, the photos speak for itself. Um, I, I got nice and up close on, on this, but there's no lipstick on a pig here. This is a no excuses example. And if you find one that has any time on it at all, that, that um, has any re replacement parts, if it's not a frame off restoration, then the only way that you'd find a nicer one than what you see right here is if you were to find one in the crate, which isn't, does, they don't exist. Listen, if you buy this bike, I don't even want to sell it, okay? The only reason we're selling it is because we need the money, right? That's how we stay in business here at the museum. We buy and sell bikes. But if you buy this bike, you've got one free admission to the 500 shootout in September, and you can leave the bike here, fly into Bradley, take an Uber here, and be part of the next 500 shootout that we're going to have at, at the Southwick National Track and uh, the party at the compound after. So that's, that's a... a uh, yeah, once in a lifetime opportunity. Look at the engine mount bolts, brand new. Look at the bolts for the ignition cover, brand new. Again, brand new engine case. Um, everything, everything's sorted out perfectly. The guy actually, uh, when he built this bike, he, he didn't cut any corners at all. So anything that wasn't perfect was replaced with something new so, or better. So um, the tires are brand new. Dunlops front and rear. It's ready to go to the line at the AHMRA Nationals. It's got the 12 inches of front suspension travel with the air forks. The forks are rebuilt. Uh, 12 inches on the rear, uh, polished aluminum baffle. It's absolute perfection. If you have any questions about the bike, give us a call. Good friend of mine, Ray Bergeron, actually bought one of these from us a couple months back, and we saw him at the Daytona Vintage Supercross riding one of these. And I saw a couple of them out there, but these are popular for the vintage racing. Um, I mean, at, at this point, uh, I think this is kind of the pinnacle of the air-cooled Yamaha, Absolutely. and, and pretty much as good as the motor's got. Yeah, there's no doubt. Uh, the pictures, the video, the, the way the bike looks, and the way it, it sounds, and, and the, the quality and fit and finish on the construction is second to none. True frame-off restoration. Uh, put this into a value perspective. Typically, a frame-off restoration like this will take a shop like ours about 70, 80 hours to do. Um, and you're going to spend somewhere in the area $3,000 in parts between the engine cases and the spokes and the plastics and the graphics and, and uh, all the new stuff that was put on here. Uh, so a restoration like this would cost you. If you bought in one needing a restoration, you wouldn't walk out of any reputable shop for, for less than seven grand doing a frame-off restoration. If you can even find anybody to do it, and it would take months to do it. So uh, it took this guy, the guy who did this restoration, I'll have to look back to the original video, but I think he said it took him like uh, two winters two years to do a frame off nut and bolt restoration. So super high quality, gorgeous, stunning, big bore two stroke speaks for itself. Little, little touches like, look at the uh, uh, plastic washers put on the, on the bolts here so that the, the uh, plates don't get elongated. Everything is just, look, look, underneath, the, look underneath here. Like all the hardware is brand new. Okay. Everything's just perfect. The frame, the frame again, it's, it's a replacement frame so the frame's in perfect condition. You're not gonna find a better one. Big bore two strokes are all the rage right now. These are going up in value and uh, it's a rock solid investment. Museum quality piece. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Please uh, comment, put your comments in there, what you think about this bike. Um, and if you're gonna make it to the 500 shootout, we've got a, about what, maybe two, 20 slots left for the, for the shootout. I'm gonna cap it at 50 riders. So thanks for watching, stay tuned. See you at the shootout. God bless America.